it time for another unboxing and Amp Dino. Um, this time we've got an amp that uh, I have very little doubt on is going to do what it's rated to do. We have the Kicker KXM1200.1 Marine Amplifier. Um, so, I mean, marine amplifiers are great. Obviously, they can handle weather a little bit better um, on conditions on a boat, salt, water spray, etc. They're meant to be waterproof. Obviously, great if you have a boat. Um, I have a boat, so this is going to be going into uh, my boat here in the spring. Um, but you can also put it in your car without worry. I mean, they are the same pretty much, with just a little bit more protection built in for them, so therefore, these tend to be a little bit more money than uh, your typical car amps. However, why am I doing an expensive amp on this YouTube channel when I usually do budget stuff? Well, that's because this amp is $199 on Amazon right now. Um, <laughs> you, if you go for the, that's because this is a last year's model. They came with a new version now of this exact same amp that's now in black um, with some LEDs right along this side here where this one just has an LED strip right there. So, $199, typically this amp is $679, so you bargain hunters, this is one to get. So, but maybe it is, maybe it's not. We'll put it on the amp down and let's see what it really does. But it's ready for 1200 watts RMS. Let's open her up, see what you got. This is my receipt, you don't need to see that. We'll get a burst sheet here. We'll see if that's accurate or not later. Rated right at 1340 watts. Um, I don't know how they did the test, but it says it passed. To say the serial number in there, so that's nice. Um, you have your owner's manual in here. Um, some screws. I'm going to need those later. Remote base knob cable. There's the remote base knob. And the amp. Obviously not that big. Um, let's see how big it is here. about 10 inches wide. Yeah, for plastic. But about seven and a half inches at the chassis. You throw the terminals in there. It's about eight and a half. So pretty small footprint. Um, right here, this is of course one of the differences with it being a marine amp. Uh, underneath these plugs with Allen wrenches is actually where your gain and um, your base adjustments and everything else are right in there. And of course, as I said, marine amps tend to be a little bit more sealed up than what you've got with a traditional amplifier. So this here for your rate remote base, if you're not going to use it, it's got a waterproof plug so you don't have that. Um, it's also got how if you're going to do your input level like high low, um, we're going to keep it at low. Um, auto turn on, since sometimes you might have a difficulty getting a remote wire back to the amp. Um, it can be done just by like um, if it senses audio. And other nice thing, zero gauge inputs. So you're not just limited to four gauge. Um, that's important in a boat because typically you're grounding and running the power um, would possibly could be long distances both for the remote and well both for the ground and power wire you know on boats there's no um, metal grounding points <laughs> the chassis is fiberglass not metal and you can't ground to the chassis so you have to ground to the battery so you're gonna have equal length for power and ground wires so the bigger the wire you get the better um, so therefore, you kind of want zero gauge for something uh, that's going to draw as much current as this. 
Um, these look to be about 8 gauge um, speaker wires and of course you have uh, two of them, which is nice. Um, they're internally bridged, so there's no difference um, between them. So you could one one here, one there, one here, one there. It doesn't really matter. And of course, inputs and outputs. Um, outputs are important on a on a boat situation because a lot of head units are not um, six channels. A lot of them only have dual output RCAs um, or four front and rear. So sometimes you kind of want an extra output from the amp um, if you're in a daisy chain. So that's all well and good. Um, let's see what she does. Okay, we're well getting ready to set this amp up. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you two other things that I thought were pretty neat. Um, as I mentioned before, right in here is where you're going to find your gain adjustment. If I can unscrew that. So right in here, if you can see in there, you've got you get your remote gain. Um, give you protection circuit. Back in here is a fuse. Um, you have your subsonic filter that's adjustable from 10 hertz to 80 hertz. You have your low pass crossover from 40 to 160. Center frequency, um, which I guess is with your EQ, what do you want to do, whether you want to do a, a spike in the boost or anything like that. Um, me, I like to keep it turned off, all those things. Um, but as I said here, being a marine amp, you've got your seal here, so water's not going to intrude into the back. Um, Again, you're probably not going to have uh, a lot of worries if you're running it in your trunk. But, those of us who actually are going to put it on a boat, that's, that's awesome. Um, I've only seen um, wet sounds, um, and maybe some JL stuff too, that do that. that really try to uh, keep the water out. This isn't a cheap, alright, we just coated the board type. Like you'll see with like Rockville, or Soundstream, or... Um, even Polk amps, which I love the Polk uh, Marine amps, um, which are also car audio related as well, but I, I really love the sound of those, but they're not as waterproof um, as this one is. Other thing I like, which is the second thing I mentioned, um, there is only one size Allen key that you need. So, whether you're Rescrewing this side, or you need to set your power wire, your remote, or your speakers, you don't have to change Allen keys. Just the one. I love that. I absolutely can't stand flipping between different Allen keys. I mean, I've got a toolbox here with 20 different Allen keys for different amplifiers or different things. Oh, it's so refreshing to just have one. So, good job on this one, Kicker. You've made my life easier going forward.
Alright, final test. 2 ohms dynamic kicker. KXM 1200.1. Let's see what she's got. Twelve hundred fifty watts, not too shabby. Rated at twelve hundred watts. Not sure what that burst sheet though, with thirteen forty listed. Uh, I'm giving her everything she can get with fourteen four volts and uh, twelve fifty. It's solid though. That's what you get with kicker. Uh, probably one of the more powerful uh, mono mono channel. Marine rated amplifiers you're gonna find out there. Good job, kicker. <laughs>